Boy, this is a good one for you today. You want to talk about a turnaround? You want to talk about making bank this year so far, 2023? Kathy Wood and ARC, they are killing it. And in case you haven't been following, yeah, they, oh, 2022 was the year that everyone just piled on and just made absolute fun of ARC and this and that. And oh, they're getting crushed. Well, wait till you see this. And not only that, I'm going to go over the top three stocks that they got in their, their flagship portfolio. Do you have these? What do you think? Have they run up too much? It's going to open your eyes a little bit, I think. So now before we get into it, of course, take advantage of the Moomoo link down below. You put $100 in, you get up to five free stocks worth up to $10,000. Put a grand in, you get 15 stocks worth up to $30,000. And then, of course, Weeble right now. Man, if you haven't taken advantage of this, jump on it. All you got to do is put 100 bucks in. They'll give you up to 12 free stocks worth up to $30,600. They have crypto over there, and you can buy fractional shares, which means you can buy a dollar's worth of Berkshire Hathaway, which is over $400,000 a share. That's BRK.A. And you can buy a little piece of it for a dollar. Man, if you haven't done it, jump on it. I absolutely love it. All right. Now, we do have the Patreon link down below in the description. Come over, check out the new portfolios. We are making moves. I am going to get set up, hopefully, to absolutely crush 2023. I got the new recession portfolio, the high risk with leverage plays and all these other things in there. Come on over and check it out. Now, as we move into it. I want to show you this, the, the stock market doing its thing, right? And you can see all these prices, but Tesla's up nicely. Everything's good, right? Well, then we come over, we'll take a look at ARC, all right? So we have a, a decent day yesterday, a fantastic day. We made some money, everything was good. And then we come over and we see ARC and you can see this. Now they have the year to date. Year to date, and I'll get my face off of here, is you look at this year to date, this was through 2022. If it was this year's to, this year's to date, it's a whole different ballgame. So their flagship, Kathy Wood's flagship, is ARK. That's the one I kind of want to talk about today. And so we pull it up and we, we take a look at what's going on. And I'm going to show you how they're doing. They have, uh, what do we got here? About 25% of their money in these top three plays. And surprisingly to me, People always say, she's so big on Tesla, this, that, and the other thing. Then why isn't Tesla their main play? Because they can move money around daily. They do it every day. They can continue to make sure Tesla's up the top. And when it's green, they can sell some off. When it's red like it is now, it's been down, way down from its highs. They could be adding and putting, it, making sure it's still their number one position. But it's not. Remember what I said in yesterday's video. Go by the actions of these people. Don't go by their words. Go by the actions. Look at where the billionaires or these mega hedge funds, these mega fund managers are putting their money. That's what you do. You don't just look and just see rainbows and stuff. You got to look and look between everything and see where they're actually putting their cash. Now, they have it in exact sciences. That's where they have their money loaded. And if you haven't been following, if you haven't been following, right now, I believe that there was a moment in this year that Kathy Wood was up at the top for the highest returning uh, fund, funds out there. So we'll take a look at this. So the first things first, let's look at, let's take a look at Tesla. Now this is in the portfolio, but it's ranked third. And if I pull that up, make sure everybody sees this. Third at 500 million dollars worth all right so we come over we say all right let's take a look at tesla how's it doing Mo? well over the last five days uh if we can get this thing to update here over the last five days we can see it's up 13.58 percent year to date 22.46 remember a lot of her portfolio is made up of tesla and i said that she is crushing it i believe it's one of the top funds for 2023 remember 2022 for her absolutely horrific it was bad they got absolutely slaughtered you saw some of those 60 something percent down 50 something percent down and let's go back take a look just to make sure we can get the right number 65 66 9 uh 67 50 40 60 30 it was a bloodbath but yet here this year you see Tesla 
rolling up 22% to start the year. And then we move over to Zoom. Zoom is, uh, I believe, the second biggest one she has in there. Yeah, the second biggest. Even more Zoom in this fund. And I don't want to hear about the other fund. I'm talking about this fund. This is, uh, if you look at this fund, she has more money in Zoom than she does in Tesla. So that tells you something. Zoom is doing, uh, let's take a look at this year to date so far. And we'll get this to reload up. Zoom this year is only up 4%. That doesn't, you know, if you look and you think, well, Zoom's only up 4%, Mo. Yeah, and if we come out and we take a look at the year chart over the last year, it's down 55%. Year to date this year, up 4%, okay? And so, where's she, how is she number one? Just because of the Tesla? No, 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 no. Take a look at exact science over the last week. Flat. Man, Mo, how is she up? Why? I thought this was good. Check this out. Year to date. 41.57%. Oh, hold on now. Now it all makes sense. Why is exact science number one in her portfolio? It's not that maybe they believe the most in that. It could be what? Yes, it ran up 40 something percent. And so if they had 500, 400 and something million dollars worth, which they, uh, if you go down and look, say something like Roku, and you give this 40% to Roku, they would be up there in the 600 billions or millions. And so there you go for some of the looks. Now, the, the million dollar question to everyone when we look at these kind of returns, is there room to run? And so I always fall on those out there who study this more than I have. And we'll like, take a look at the last year. It's only down 10% now after that game. And over the last five years, uh, you can see at one point, this stock, Exact Science, was down about 80% from that low, it is now up 123%. And so it, it's got that low down there and now it's starting to recover. So let's take a look at Tesla here at tip rank so you can see what's going on. Link in the description puts all the analysts on Wall Street at one place. And we can see a year ago, they thought it would be at 350 today. It's only at 132. Now a year from now, they believe it's gonna be at 190. All right, so take this with a grain of salt, but it does give you an idea of those studying these stocks or where they see it going. I like uh, I like that. That's a nice upside potential, 43%. We come over and look at Zoom. She likes to, when we look at Kathy Wood and what she's doing, she always likes to find these companies that can give you that growth of 25%. And you can see this. This If they believe they can get 25% in that price yearly, that is a good growth play for them. And so you see this one right there, $86, per, $86 as a price target in the next 12 months. It's trading at 69. So we will see how that goes. And of course, look at this one. When it runs up 40 something percent, and look, now the analysts believe it's gonna be about 10% cheaper in the next year. And they just switch. As that thing start, now you can see them starting to go higher and they're changing their price target. Back in October, they actually thought this would only be around $30, not even. And so there you go, how that changes quickly. So it went from 30 to now, hey, it's gonna be 60 a couple months later. And so you gotta watch what everything's going on. And you, you, But you know, watching Kathy Wood, where she's putting her money, what stocks are running up, the fact that now she has one of the best performing funds in the country for 2023, will that continue through the entire year or will it be in the middle of the pack or like 2022 will it be one of the worst performing ones and here's the thing keep this in mind it is a high risk one it is high risk there's some very high risk plays in there and i have said it before during a bull cycle bull market i expect plays like those especially when the money gets cheap from the fed again which it will to absolutely crush it are we there yet i don't know you know how I'm playing it. If you want to see what I'm doing and what I think, all you got to do is hit that Patreon link down below or join as a Tesla Cat supporter or more. I've talked about this many times in the videos where I see the market going through 2023. I'm not sure, but I am avoiding risk and looking for value until I feel everything is okay and the Fed has done its damage. At that time, I will be loading up on a lot of the same plays she is. So, Keep that in mind. All right, folks. So if you haven't done it, get the free stocks from Weeble and Moomoo down below. Deposit $100 a piece. Take a couple of minutes today to take advantage of that. It's easy money during this weekend. 
And uh, of course, you never know how much you're going to get. Let me know down below what stock made you the most money so far in 2023. And are you into crypto at all? I'm curious to see what the audience thinks. I appreciate you stopping by. Well, let's get out there and make some money.